Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some last minute Halloween costume ideas because I'm the kind of person that leaves everything to the last minute and I do that too with my Halloween costumes every year. So if you're like me then this video is going to show you how you can make your Halloween costume look good even though you probably made it the night before or like two days before Halloween or literally on the day. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave this video a thumbs up and let's hop right into the video. So the first costume idea is a detective and I love this one personally. I think it's one of my favorites, even though it doesn't really look like one of those detectives you'd see like on the internet if you search up a photo of a detective. But all you're gonna need for this is some red lipstick to make you look put together because red lipstick always makes you look put together. I don't know how, but it just does. And then for your hair, you're just going to put it in a low sleek ponytail. This costume is basically also like a spice. So basically, black clothing is essential because you don't want people to see you when you're trying to spy on them. <laughs> I'm just wearing this really cute black top and then just some leggings. So like, I don't have any goggles, the ones where you like see from far away. Um, so I just wore these sunglasses to act as goggles, even though they don't really look alike. They just make you look hardcore and I think that sunglasses add a lot to this outfit. Costume, what am I talking about? <laughs> so this next costume is Mario from Mario and Luigi and I don't even know if that's how you say Luigi but I really don't care. All you're gonna need are some black shorts, a red t-shirt and some black suspenders and also a black hat because this adds so much to the costume because Mario wears like a hat and this looks very similar to it. Adding red lipstick really tied the look together as the top was red as well and I just think it looked really good together. The reason I love this costume so much is because you can find all these things at a $2 store and you probably already have like a red t-shirt at home and like red lipstick at home. And also you can go as Mario and Luigi for a partner's costume. I think that would be really, really cute. So the next costume idea is a unicorn slash fairy. And the reason I did it as slash fairy is because I didn't have a unicorn horn because I couldn't find one. So for this, you just have to pack a ton of glitter onto your face because you need to look glowy and bright and happy. That's just what we want to kind of go for with this costume. And also adding pink lipstick represents that as well. But for this I just decided to wear a bodysuit from Zaffle. It's actually a swimsuit but I used it as a bodysuit. And then I added a tutu over the top. So here is how it would look like if I actually bought a unicorn horn. Or made one myself but like to be honest I like literally couldn't be stuffed making my own one. So like I'm not gonna lie about that. It's true. <laughs> And also this is kind of directed at my younger view as if you're like 9 or 12 or something. But um, if you're like 16 or 18 and you kind of want to like dress up as a unicorn or a fairy, then I say go for it because life is short and like you should do whatever you want. <laughs> So the main part of looking like Boo from Monsters Inc. is a pink top and pigtails. These are very important because those are the main things you see as like they show a ton of medium shots in the film. So you can mostly see her um, pink top and her pigtails. I know in the movie Boo was wearing purple leggings and like an oversized pink t-shirt but like that's not really my style and like I wouldn't wear that like I wouldn't wear that out so this is just basically like an older version of Boo and don't forget to bring a jumper with you because you might get cold at night at like a Halloween party or like just going trick-or-treating if you still do that. I also added a thin line of eyeliner to make my eyes look bigger because her eyes are really big and I just thought that made sense. Mm -hmm. 
And my last costume idea is an alien and I love this one especially because you get to do like a bunch of things with your face. I put like eyeliner on my um, like on top of my eyebrow and then I added a bunch of glitter and eyeliner and a ton of highlight as well and like hoop earrings and I just think that this looks so cute and like you could do so much with this one because it's basically like out of space and like who knows what happens there so like you can add so much to this costume. Initially I was going to pair this outfit with some black high waisted jeans but then I was thinking that like a white skirt might look better with this outfit and I was right. It looks so much better and just any metallic -y kind of white clothing I think is perfect for this costume. And also I had an attempt at doing space buns but I couldn't get them right so I reckon space buns and like adding glitter to the space buns for your hair would look better but I really suck at doing anything in my hair so I just did a normal bun. Um, but space ones would have looked so much better. So thank you for watching. I hope you actually got some ideas out of this video. Um, subscribe to my channel, like this video, you know what to do. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!